just recall uh, what what is the usual user uh, do the mistake turning off the firewall is a major mistake the people who is going to because to allow some uh, applications uh, malicious application if you allow suspicious uh, application if you allow to run in your system then you will be uh, the victim of the hacker so don't do the mistake of turning off the firewall so what is the need need to protect the financial data reputation of a company etc what is the challenge if it is a small network it is uh, simple to uh, filter out the packets if it is a larger networks topology is high higher topologies then complexity will increase the organization ha has a challenge to uh, face the uh, issue of uh, uh, attacks so uh, organization always uh, worrying about when uh, the different kinds of attacks uh, were there as you uh, today morning only i sent a message whatsapp message uh, talking about the bluetooth did you observe that one read that one bluetooth message how many devices are compromised yesterday only we discussed in our uh, classroom about the uh, bluetooth vulnerability especially in wi-fi attacks right so whether you uh, go through with that uh, content where is your second sign so how many number of uh, bluetooth devices more than a billion bluetooth devices affected by brack tooth flaw it is a this flaw exists in the chipboard itself if you go through this uh, completely you will understand the severity of the uh, bluetooth attacks whenever you are not in use of the bluetooth immediately switch up please go through with this uh, it creates interest ignites interest on you bluetooth on both android smartphones and windows 10 devices has been found to be a weak link in a new set of vulnerabilities the flaw has been found to be persistent in several microprocessors which are used by some of the top technology brands in the world so this uh, uh, flaw researcher has found that this flaw exists with the existing micro uh, processor chips so the researcher mentions that 16 vulnerabilities affecting bluetooth which we all use these vulnerabilities have collectively been named as brack tooth so the severity of uh, the uh, electronic uh, devices is such a we don't know all these way all these days we use those chips uh, without any doubt and all we are we are keep on using now also by keeping on the bluetooth devices in our system but the researchers according to the research studies they uh, they, they found that potential damage to a device through the largely depends on the type of device and chipset it uses see the amount out of 13 chips from 11 vendors uh, having this flaw brack tooth flaw this is a, a huge challenge for the manufacturer as well the users of those devices. Now the time is to fix the uh, patches for the, those devices. Okay, so you go with this, uh, this and understand the severity and the attacks of the cyber uh, in Wi-Fi ne networks. Okay. All this seen in the previous class, just firewall and packet filters. The firewalls are the softwares which uh, monitors the inbound and outbound traffic of a network. If any malicious uh, packets are found, it simply drops the packets. 
rather than allowing depending on the rules you set by you uh, and the uh, firewall also act as a, a packet filter uh, two kind of uh, the firewall personal uh, firewalls and uh, the parental control firewall we have seen in the uh, previous class the personal firewalls parental control firewalls etc from here onwards uh, today we are going to discuss two common network security software components that you can equate to firewall like functionality are exactly these are not actually the firewalls but these are act like a firewall since firewall job main basic job is to filter out the packets depending on the rules set by the administrator of the system or the user of the system firewall acts firewall does not have the self uh, identity but nowadays uh, due to advent in the machine learning technology one firewalls also started thinking of whether filter out or not to filter out depending on the rules set by the administrators again so modern os include firewall capabilities both because firewalls are an important piece of network security and because systems may be connected to many different networks during their lifetime so the modern os which are comes along with the capability of handling the complex networks the system which, which is connecting to the two different networks so in their lifetime it's one thing to have your laptop protected by a dsl it's a modem digital subscribe line modem or the cable modem so more, nowadays modem is comes along with the firewall capability these firewalls primarily protect system services or file sharing from unauthorized access see uh, remote administration services ras option is there with the windows what it is going to do it is going to use the uh, filter, local filter that is windows filter to filter out the un unauthorized access from the remote users these firewalls primarily the job of this personal firewalls primarily protect a system services that is operating system services is running uh, for you for the usage of the system or file sharing from unauthorized accesses you cannot simply share until unless you give up the control so so for example here you suppose you want to share this folder uh, share this folder so what you need to have you cannot simply uh, either you can use the pen drive to share copy and paste it in some other system suppose the remote person wants to access uh, this uh, the folder so they need to uh, you need to first create a shared folder for this you can see permissions for the system uh, what are the permission you can allow whether you are, you are not allowing them to access or not so details in this general go to the advanced whether you want to allow this file to have content index in addition property so uh, here the one more option for sharing is you can observe here a uh, remote app and desktop connection and one more uh, functionality so access remote app and desktop connections so if you want to connect a specific uh, email address or the connection url you specify here and it is going to be connected if credentials are right or uh, there is an called as folder options in this folder option see whether you want to uh, share this folder or not so show all folders automatically expand to current show libraries uh, double click okay uh, view here files and folders you can do 
you, these are the filtering techniques to whether you want to allow the folder to access from uh, the other user of the same system or remote user of the same system. Just use uh, look into here, hide empty drives, hide extension of known files, hide folder merged conflicts, uh, hidden files, files and folders. So these are all the filtering options uh, for sharing the folders. Even though you can uh, set here, you can exclude some of the folders uh, to access from the firewall to bypass the firewall settings. So observe here, active public network is bmsit.net. So only one network which is allowed to access the system. See, you can observe in the Windows firewall with advanced settings. Here, inbound rules are present. Uh, there are so many inbound rules are present. Which are the inbound rules, the port number you allowed to access as publicly enabled whether the action is allowed see which protocol you are allowing which is the local port what is the remote remote through remote address any of the remote addresses is going to be used by this see these are all the system uh, filtering inbound rules are applied that windows firewall checks for the incoming packets which matches with any of the rules then it allows into the system there are so many network uh, inbound rules are defined here you can modify it according to your need if you don't uh, allow the uses of specific for example zoom video conference if you don't want to allow you can edit the properties you can click on disable it won't allow you to access the zoom meeting and similarly you are the you can modify the outbound bound rules so what and all you are going to allow to pass through from your system to outside network so you can set the filtering option you just click any one of this it will show the in detail uh, of that one here you can you can define that one whether allow the connection allow the connection if it is uh, if it is secure or block the connection you can filter out the uh, file and printer sharing uh, file and printer sharing in this case icmp protocol is used of version 4 see all these things you can set in even in your system also uh, to filter out the packets these are the rules applied application packages this see you can see uh, you can open the uh, which are the things you can allow to go outbound so which are the drivers are used here to drive that okay so everyone user can use checkpoint vpn uh, juniper networks Similarly, specify the service to which this rule applies. You can excludingly specify the services, ActiveX installer. So granular level, you need to be uh, understand rather than just the definition level of the cyber security. Remote computer, which computer? So if you allow a computer, only allow connections to these computers. If you allow, see warning message, allow only secure connection is to set. So uh, skip this rule for connection to this one. Means that you can protect your system by setting the, updating the rules of Windows Fire rules. The default settings are there. Once if you obtain the new system or the laptop, just go with the Windows rules, which is already defined by that OS. If you are, if you want to restrict, you can exclusively restrict by entering in this, in, into this, configuration setting of this windows firewall 
getting some principles are there only allow connections from these users you can add the users local user who are all the local users it is going to be listed here click on the advanced find now it will display which user is going to use to use uh, allow to send the data outside the world you can restrict uh, for, you can restrict only this user is going to allow to send that uh, use this uh, uh, traffic sending from this machine to the outside the world these are all the way you can uh, do the understanding of the granular level of information about the firewall advanced setting is there specify profiles to which this rule apply whether private or public or domain again interface type which rule apply go to customize so all interface types are local area network remote access wireless if it is usually if it is a uh, computer belongs to a a college then they are going to set up with these interfaces uh, that is local area network they are not allow you to access remote access and wireless access also so scope of access is any ip or these ip addresses protocols and ports which are going to use protocol type is icmp for this particular file and print sharing i am talking not all file and print sharing so protocol icmp version 4 uh, protocol number is one local port any port which is connected with uh, the uh, printer is going to be uh, allowed to access and remote port all ports in, uh, internet control message protocol is used again you can customize here which are the things you can configure here uh, so this is not allowed means read only mode is enabled here means this is not allowed only the administrator user can make the changes of windows firewall setting is it clear similarly you go with for example uh, one more uh, outgoing uh, rules uh, is checkpoint uh, vpn so checkpoint enabled allow the connection then go with the protocols of our protocol type any protocol which is uses again icmp is one protocol which is used scope any ip addresses advance so observe previously file sharing file and printer sharing only private was allowed here the checkpoint vpn property domain private and public is allowed so these are the default settings i am not set any exclusively here it's a default setting set by the windows firewall which comes with the uh, operating system so local principles uh, remote computers local principles programs and settings which are the drivers used to allow the traffic etc and so on it appears here okay this is outbound rules connection security rules connection security rules not defined here you can have the new rule by clicking on that new whether you want what type of connection security rule would you like to create isolation means restriction restrict connection based on authentication criteria such as domain membership or health status for example only one time users uh, you can allow to use that password only one time local user policy setting we have learned from the last few sessions authentication exemption do not authenticate connection from the specified computer server to server whether you want to authenticate connection between the specified computers channel authentication connection between two computers custom rule means uh, the user can apply his rules based on the available list any ip address which computers are in endpoint one which computer you can uh, provide the it ad ip address of that computer so which another computer so whether you want to establish the uh, secure connection with each other so all these you can set here again you can go with customize whether you want to allow all kind of interfaces like uh, cable connection remote access or wireless 
you allow that and uh, uh, provide the second ip endpoint then go with the what when do you want authentication to occur these are all the rules you can filter out uh, to establish a secured connection with the two computers uh, over the network and also see what kind of authentication method you would like to use whether you want to use the ip security settings or computer and user that is kerberos version 5 it restrict communication to compu connections from domain joined users and computers it provides identity information for authorizing specific users and computers inbound and outbound rules see computer just restrict communication to the uh, from domain joined computers so advanced again it is customized option again go with advanced which type of the first authentication what is the type of authentication second authentication what is the type so you can first authentication is option you can provide both are optional for the authentication so depending on the requirement of uh, usage of the two computer which you are going to set so now you go here the endpoint systems uh, so protocol and prot uh, you can configure the protocol uh, after specifying the customized options it will allow to enter into the at least one second authentication method to make second uh, authentication so at least one uh, authentication needs to be set by you you another you can leave it as a uh, optional one so then after that protocol and uh, ports which protocol you are going to allow to uh, do the communication between the uh, system to system through the wire firewall which is established also you can profile the name of the systems of authentication and name of the system of the authentication so these are the things you can uh, learn by just opening the windows firewall advanced settings uh, of your own system and explore the thing and the monitoring is happening what is the monitor monitoring of this so currently the network is on the class is going on uh, it is keep on monitoring uh, of the packets which is coming in and going out see observe here so which program is running uh, especially here now currently so currently it, it is uh, this firewall is monitoring c cleaner browser which is uh, executable program uh, then uh, uh, this is a windows services uh, up inbound traffic see observe here direction also mentioned these are all the uh, thing inbound traffic for the firewall security associations are there which are two modules main module so uh, authentication method and pick module so we are not defined any security association between two computers that is endpoint computer one and endpoint computer two so you observe here local address remote address first authentication method second authentication method encryption which uh, encryption technology we are going to use integrity and key exchange which are means all the rules you need to exclusively define if you are establishing uh, by using the customized option these are the default settings uh, which are there with the uh, firewalls okay this is about windows firewall and advanced security which you can configure and customize for the use of communication any questions? Any questions? Fine. In the same way, so through the browsers, browser settings, there is an option. called as parental control oh you even i think it is this captions
so security privacy and security that is security settings uh, here uh, standard protection with uh, custom domain uh, here advanced system google advanced program so in uh, in the second case uh, here parental control software is used to block the outbound outbound traffic usually the websites uh, excluded from access based on appropriateness for example porn sites ideology like uh, similar to the politics safety like uh, malware or other reasons this requires a privileged account such as root administrator to define the controls for a lower privilege account so other filtering software tools such as spam blocker and virus scanners are also similar to the firewalls in the sense that they accept or deny traffic based on the content inspection so rather than just a uh, port number or the application layer uh, filtering so span especially span blocker and virus scanners which are works on the application layer uh, whereas firewall works on the uh, the lower level of the uh, protocol so spam blockers and virus scanners operate higher up the stack that is on application layer content such as email or web traffic so spam blockers and virus scanners usually scans the application layer content usually application layer content such as email or email which you are sending uh, web traffic these are all the examples for the application layer content so some span blockers and virus scanners is taken care of uh, scanning the content based on the content uh, abuse or the goodness it is allowing to access the uh, application whereas firewalls typically at the level of numbers in packet address so it sniffs snip of the packets and looks whether the ip address is uh, uh, the valid and port numbers in the packet address is valid or not so even though uh, it won't is not uh, monitor the content level but some firewalls are there even it checks with the content level that is termed to be as a packet packet filters okay there is clearly an advantage to being able to control traffic based on application layer uh, characteristics for example instead of blocking all http connections you may want to block only those that appear to be serving malware so in spam blockers or virus scanners they are checking application layer and some of the characteristics of the application uh, uh, is being used by the user based on the content uh, instead of blocking all the http secure less protocol all the http instead of that it based on the content you are trying to access the uh, based on that it is going to be blocked whereas at the packet level filter might only be able to filter based on source or destination property example uh, the port number is 8080 local port the application layer or deep inspection firewall might be able to tell the difference between valid and spoofed email which is a spoof email or spam mail or spam message how the program is going to identify it checks with the content based on the some content patterns it is going to notify you be aware of spam email or phishing mail or the uh, virus uh, aware of the virus to most firewalls an http connection just looks like random traffic over port number 443 so https connection which chooses the port number 443 this simply uh, tells uh, about the uh, random traffic which is keep on coming to the port number 443 okay so packer packet filter versus firewall 
so this will be uh, discussed shortly so packet filter the firewall is also called as a packet filter in the due course of discussion we are interchangingly we are using the packet filter and the firewall are same so what is the difference the packet filter uh, generally perform the same function of the uh, firewall whereas packet filters inspect traffic based on characteristics as i said the packet filter acts as a firewall but in addition to that it is going to inspect the traffic based on the characteristic which are the characteristics the characteristics which are it is going to check is protocol which type of the protocol that is going to be used and the source source address source of generation of packet then destination addresses destination addresses these are the characteristics the packet filter is going to look into which is which is the protocol either tcp or ip or ftp or udp right so if any udp if any icmp icmp or ip sec or any any protocol which protocol that packet is uses then what is the source address uh, source ip address and port number source source system ip address and port number similarly destination ip address and port number and port number okay in addition to these characteristics two more characteristics it is going to uh, check that is especially icmp message type and code then tcp flag some of the flags are there in tcp headers probably you heard of heard about the tcp connection protocol right uh, which are the flags ACK stands for acknowledgement. What is fin final packet? What is sin synchronized? Etc. These kind of flags it is going to check. Then in addition to that, uh, network interface on which the packet arrives. Which are the network interface we discussed yesterday? Which are the network interfaces? DSL, modem, or cable or LAN connection. Cable or LAN, right? DSL modem or cable or LAN. Which are the other one? That is Wi-Fi. So network interface characteristics it is check whether it is coming from wireless uh, wireless device or the cable mode like lan mode or modem mode how it arrives so the packet characteristics to filter is it is going to check the following it is going to examine the following characteristics of a packet getting this is little thing about the packet filter versus firewall any question so uh, i hope you uh, already gone through the protocol set like TCP, IP, FTP, UDP, ICMP, IP set in your uh, computer network course, right? So just recall the concept you learned there. 
or you just go through with once with the uh, these uh, protocols uh, the address header and uh, footer of the protocols and etc uh, i i can show you here uh, some of the TC tcp protocol stack uh, at the application level which protocol is used uh, I, we can recall this one in the next coming sessions uh, transport layer which are the protocols are used uh, network layer which protocol is used link data link layer which protocol is used how it work what is the data format of tcp header right which is the flag what is the size of the packet what is the chunk what is the uh, yes all these things you recall uh, um, you know recall uh, while sitting uh, next class just go through with these are the tcp ip header format and the flags which is used okay so packet filtering example is like this uh, we'll discuss in the next class don't worry now as of now fine okay any questions